Brighton went with his mother one day to one of the grocery stores. They had a lot of shopping to do, but after a short time, something happened that his mother will never forget in her life, she lost her son in the huge store. Of course, the boy was soon found, and his mother could already relax, but the few minutes she spent looking for her son seemed like an eternity. Just seconds before the woman found her son, she already knew the first thing she would say to him. It was as if she was already rehearsing her speech that he should not take one step away from her and follow her all the time, when suddenly, she saw her boy on his knees in front of the sign. When the woman came closer she realized that her son was praying, but she understood what made him do that, only when she looked up and looked at the sign, in front of which little Brandon was standing. Losing a child, even for a moment, is every parent's greatest nightmare. And even if it's not uncommon to get lost in a huge mall, among an endless stream of people, it's still something you wouldn't wish on your enemy when it comes to children. And what to say, when such a place as in this case was Walmart one of the largest and busiest retailers in the world. According to the mother, she was distracted for only a second, and when she turned around, her son was gone. Yes, her son was quickly found, but when the woman found out what had happened, she was heartbroken and confused. She saw her son in front of a sign. He was kneeling and it soon became clear to her that he was praying. But it wasn't until a moment later that she realized what it was about the sign that had captivated her son. Then she understood everything as she approached the wall, the woman saw pictures of children, next to which was the caption, every second counts. They were pictures of children who had gone missing. Little Bryden stopped when he saw this sign and knelt down to pray for all those children. He prayed to God that those children would return to their families. The story that happened to Bryden soon became known not only to himself and his mother. Thousands of people learned about him. This story was shared by hundreds of users of social networks, who thus decided to show their respect and appreciation for the little boy who was so openly worried about children he did not know. One social media user also reposted Little Brighton's story on his page, which is dedicated to the search for his missing cousin Aubrey Carroll. In a comment under the repost, he wrote, I don't know who this little guy is, but I want to thank him for praying for these kids. One of those kids, is my cousin Aubrey Carroll. It certainly touched my heart. If I knew where and who this child was, I would want to thank him personally. It's probably worth saying that since that time, Little Brandon's story and his photo have been shared more than 115,000 times by web users. As we continue to talk about numbers, we should also note that according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, about 800,000 children go missing each year in the United States. It's not that it's a staggering number, it's a scary number, and we're sure you'll agree with that. One user left this comment, which could be considered the summation of all the reasoning on the subject of faith and help. Whether you really believe in God is irrelevant. This was an ordinary kid in an ordinary Walmart store who was concerned and worried about others. He was doing the only thing he could to help. The world would be a better place if everyone followed his example. Translated with www.depl.com slash translator, free version.